All right, we're on our way up to the ranch because, Jamie, tell what we're gonna do. Well, now that we've had a snowstorm, a gonna, light snowstorm. We're gonna burn the big pile of garbage and stuff, tree limbs and stuff that makes up the pile. And people have dumped their old furniture there, couches and a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna get rid of it while it's safe to burn. In the big pit, the burn pit. It's called the. Did you call burn the pit. fire department? Jamie, we gotta tell them. They're gonna think the mountain's burning. And uh, you can show the mountains. I will. We had more snow, but it's melted. It's a real wet snow. It was just a few inches of snow on the ground. Anyway, it's noon now, 12.30, so it's melted, but we, it's wet outside, so this is a good day to burn the garbage. Thank you, County Sheriff's Office, for Rochelle speaking. Uh, this is Jamie Burton. Uh, I'm going to be burning a big pile of garbage west of Auburn, and last year, okay. Last year when we burned it, all the neighbors got excited and called the fire department and everything else. So they told us to make sure to call and notify people if we're going to burn. Okay, and what is the address exactly that you're burning at? I think it's uh, 1400. I can't remember exactly. I think it's... Uh, the road there. Lincoln 133 is the road, I think. Anyway, just so that nobody calls the fire department or gets all upset. Right. Okay. Well, I appreciate you calling that in and I will send it to the fire department so we don't send them lights and sirens, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You be safe. Okay, I recorded Jamie making his phone call, but as you can tell, he had a hard time driving and talking on the phone at the same time. <laughs> He's a one focus man. Okay, so here's what it looks like up here. It's over there is the ranch where we're gonna be burning and you can tell the grass is dry. So that's why we waited for it to be wet. Hopefully, it stays in the pit, the fire. You know, it won't go anywhere. Jamie brought a little gasoline to pour in first. Well, he went to get fill the, uh, the red can with gas. And you notice our gas on the car has the light on. He forgot his wallet. And so he didn't know where he put his wallet. When he got there to the store, he didn't have his wallet. He had to charge it his purchase at the hardware store. So then he came back and he remembered his wallet is in his Sunday pants. So, but he had a little gas in his can from before. So he says he has enough to start it. And when we're done here, then when we're smelling like smoke and smelling like a campfire and smelling stinky, then we're gonna go get gas in the car. Are you going to get gas in your can then? I, I guess I could. I'd have to get it. And, and then I have to get the mail because I have to mail my packages and get, hopefully, Timu packages. They say they're in a parcel locker. But Jamie went this morning and they were not in the parcel locker. Well, we didn't have any key in there or anything. No, there wasn't any. That means there's no parcel logger. So anyway, hopefully I'll have it so that I can make everyone's favorite videos of Timu shopping. Now, Jamie, tell me what you think of Timu shopping. I don't know. I just try to stay out of it. I want him to, like some husbands sit by the wife while she has the Timu Hall display and opening. Why won't you do it with me? I want you to do it uh, with me. That's too boring. No, the people would love your input on what I bought. Do you want to do it with the next package? 
I'm too much of a minimalist, and so You're I not usually a minimalist don't, the garage. don't think it's necessary to buy a hundred types of dresses and blouses and yeah. coats and purses and shoes. Every Sunday I say, did you decide what you're going to wear to church? Well, I have about four suits, so I get to pick between no. those four suits. He has one good one that fits him, one that is too thin that he doesn't like. But it still looks okay and If you don't touch me. it from t mm -hmm. And then he has one that's a little smaller, your striped one. I think you, oh, and then you have your vest, your wool vest that you wear that looks like a cowboy. Yeah, we we brought up a couple of buckets full of We apple need to scraps. get rid of that pickup there. Where's the horse, well, cowboy? That's what I'm trying to look for. We got the apple cores to feed the horse. Now, don't get in the comments saying, oh no, you're going to flounder him if you feed him all those apples. I don't even know if anybody will say that, but. We'll throw them out on the way back. I don't know the. I don't see the. The horse trailer wasn't there yesterday or the other day, so. This is somebody's... Autumn's trailer. This is Trevor's wood he brought up here. And he sold it because they got a pellet stove now. So somebody's supposed to come and pick this up. Yeah. For fire burning. Let me see if they got the horses up in this upper van. They got rid of their fire wood stove. So now they have a pellet stove. We had a pellet stove once and we hated it. I don't see the horses here anywhere. There they are. Where? Right there. Oh, is that cowboy? So let's. Oh yeah, here's here. here they come. Hillary said cowboy is the best horse that you can trust with kids ever. I always said, is Ari safe riding her horse up there by herself? She's 16, and he said, yeah, this cowboy's. But I don't know if is this cowboy. What's the other one? No, that's not cowboy. Oh, this. Oh. Cowboy's the one coming through the gate. Or the one coming through the gate now, I guess. The one with the lots of white on its nose. So there's four four horses gonna eat the apples. Good thing I don't think they have much grass in here. They're smelling them. Cowboy! I don't know how to call a horse. They're, they're leery. They think we're going to ride them, I guess. There they come. Can they smell? Do apples smell and they can smell them? I don't know if horses smell like other animals. One year, somebody was coming in the fields and cutting the horses' manes and tails. Remember that? A couple years ago. But Ari braids her horse and combs that. This one's cowboy. Okay, they're gonna like them. See the sign right here? Private property, no trespassing. Those signs don't work. People don't care, they still come through. Jamie, did you bring matches? Yes, I have them in my pocket. All right, here we go. This is a big adventure. This is gonna be labeled the big bonfire. The big burn. The big burn. The amazing, people love that word. Amazing big burn. There's the mattress. And there's metal. And so what burns, burns. And then the metal falls down into the hole. It's a pit, so we can bury it in that one we're done. And it's a very deep pit. I'll show you. There's horse poop all over. There's our old fridge. Don't catch yourself on fire. We had a girl in town. Her mother was burning. This was years and years ago. Her mother was burning. And the little girl was sitting on top of a hay bale. This is a story I heard. And it's cold. I need gloves. And they lit the fire. But the little girl jumped down or something. Anyway, she got burned. 
It's so horrible and sad. So I always worry about it. Burning with gas. Lean. I forgot. Get back. Get out of the smoke so you don't stink. Well, maybe it'll make you smell better. <laughs> My. I think that's why the pioneers survived their stench because the smoke from their campfires, the pilgrims, made them smell better. How much do you think it would be uh, catching? What? How big a blaze will it be? I need gloves. Freezing. Now, I've been to Mexico a lot, and I've seen the outskirts of the towns of Mexico. They need to have a big burn there and get rid of their trash and stuff. Oh, I get to sit in the car and watch it. I'm sitting in the car. I'm sitting in the car now because it is cold out there. What is the degrees? I guess it has to be like 30 if it snowed. It's starting to snow now. I see flakes coming. Anyway, Jamie goes, I guess we could pick up garbage around here. And I don't see any garbage around. And if you wanted me to pick up garbage, you got to remind me so I'd bring gloves. There goes the mattress. If that was your house and your mattress was burning, here's what it would look like. And there's lots of limbs. Luckily, Jamie, see this coat Jamie's wearing? I'm going to tell you a story about it. It's a, I think it's a Columbia coat. And it was very nice coat, brand new. And it was for our date nights and stuff. So I, Jamie was going to go caulk the eaves and I told him we'll take off that good coat and put on a, a chore coat but he didn't do it he said no I'll be very careful I was using spray foam and so and the can exploded all over see it was a Columbia well this isn't the one that oh it's not the one this is a different coat so you ruined two anyway so oh, this was an old one I've been using for a long time he doesn't know what your chore coats and what your good ones. I think that was your good one and you ruined Well, years ago it was a good one, yeah. Anyway, it's okay. We could shop on Timu and buy a new one. He has a lot of coats. I got a whole bunch. Just don't wear your good ones. The one Tyson some, some gave of you. Some are crappy, though. I don't like wearing them. The seam, that one coat, I noticed the See, seams. the wind's blowing down this way. If I'd lit the fire on the other side, the wind would have carried it into the pile better. And that should have been it. Yeah, but how are you going to get down but there? I had drier stuff right there where I lit it. See, this is why we called the, the people and told them, don't be alarmed. Because people will probably start calling in to the fire department. There's a fire. There's I think it's their tree house. Big smoke coming off the hills. There must be a fire. There's no wind much, though. But still... Well, a couple of years ago when we burned and that happened, we had a bunch of old tires in there. There's something exploded. Pop, oh, it's probably a spray can paint. We had a... Doesn't paint spray cans pop? They probably do. We had a lot of old tires in there and it made big black billowing clouds of smoke. Yeah, you're not supposed to burn tires, Jamie. Well, it was once... Oh, great. Get a few of Does this mean you're not going green? You're not doing good for the environment. Do you have that tissue over there? This cold air is making my nose run. And it would make yours run too. Here's what JB puts in the car for his tissues to blow his nose. I love napkins better because they're more substantial and <laughs> more absorbent. Some people, have you noticed this? My dad and Jamie, when they blow their nose, it honks. Honk. No, it doesn't. It does. It kind of, it honks when they blow their nose. I can't do that. Make Yours my nose honks at honk. Night time when you need to blow your nose and you don't. You don't need to tell people about snoring. Anyway, 
when we were on the cruise ship, there was this lady behind me and she blew her nose and she honked like my dad when she blew it. And I thought, how do you do that? Because good thing we didn't park our car right there. Look, there's little scraps of shingles and stuff off of that trailer that yeah, Parker. Parker tore his trailer got, down right there. No, Parker gave him a. Somebody gave him a. Was it a travel trailer, a little one? Yeah. And he an took it one. all apart. He parked it right there by the garbage and tore it apart and threw it over in. And then he had a frame of a trailer. But there was a lot of scraps that were all over the ground there. Now they're. Some of them are burning. I just hope the wind stays that way and doesn't blow this way. Looks like it's changing a little. Some people love well, if that it comes fire. towards us, we'll, we can start and back up a ways or something. Yeah, Ooh, do that. that. Something exploded. I just love watching the fire. It makes me warm already. It makes me glad to see this garbage that's an eyesore to get rid of it. Because we've had strangers, we don't know, dumping stuff in here. Because it's visible and they think, oh, that's oh, a huge we, pit. Here, we got a whole bunch of stuff to Let's throw go away. get it. Everybody who moves... In the family. And then they have all their old stuff. They think they can come dump everything here. And then it's not so bad when family members do it, but when their neighbors and everybody else starts trying to do it. But Jamie says he's going to bury it with the dirt, and then we're not going to have it anymore. And I said, no. No, we're going to we want our keep stuff. pushing the metal stuff down into the bottom, and then... In 15 years after you've burned a whole bunch, then you can bury it. But we bit. chose this place because this road right here, we could uh, make it wider and make it a better turn. Did I make that up? We actually had a pit there right underneath this end on this side. And we burned a whole bunch of stuff in it. And then it got filled over. And then we had to haul more dirt in to make the road wider. Eventually, the part right where the flames are there will eventually all be hauled in with dirt. And but don't, if out. you took this all to the dump, don't they burn it too? The dump burns. Uh, certain types of like house garbage and stuff. I they think separate. They, they just have it in a big pit and they bulldoze it in with a bulldozer. And, they burn. And then eventually it'll all get covered up and just... Then it'll ferment and create methane down inside. Is this going to have methane? Not, not this. Oh, good. Some of those big giant dumps in the big cities, they actually, after they're capped off that way, they actually take hoses out and collect right. the methane for commercial use. Huh. Think of that. I had an aunt once... And anytime you'd tell her anything, she'd always say, huh, think of that. So I always like to say that after people, but they don't get it. Because they didn't know my aunt. She didn't say it to them. Huh, think of that. Because, you know, sometimes you don't know what to say when people tell you things. You're like, oh, why are you telling me that? Or, oh. See, that couch that's burning there's chad's old couch yeah that was... and then there's a bathtub right there i think that came out of that trailer yeah or that came out of somewhere i don't think a bathtub was in a trailer well i don't know that came out of we don't that's there something. was another explosion yeah. we don't know who dumped that bathtub there i thought and we thought it might be trevor's apartments well that might be true that might have been something somebody dumped in there because but then Trevor said, no, he didn't take it here. He went to the real dump. When he had the apartments, people left, oh, so much stuff and couches and stuff. Junk. And, yeah, all their old junk they didn't want to take. Yeah. They left it. Really nice um, apartment renters. So Jamie said, if it's burnable, Trevor could put it here. But I, we didn't want bathtubs. Of course, that's probably fiberglass. Does fiberglass burn? Yeah. Uh, last year, I trimmed a whole bunch of branches and took a lot of dead trees and stuff out of my orchard up there and underneath all this is a big old trailer load of branches and stuff that we trimmed out last year that I can feel burned. the heat mm -hmm. I think we should back up a little no we're fine no the car the peel it, it could make the car pit paint peel if I'm feeling it through the window back up a little 
already in feed. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then you don't want me to say, I told you so, I told you I so. I told you so, I told you so. There, besides we get a different angle now. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, perfect. Are you bored yet? You probably don't even want to finish watching this. It's been eight minutes and 54 seconds. Turn it off, we're almost out of gas. Because somebody didn't have their wallet. Now, you should have that be a lesson to you since it's happened to you about how many times? Oh, six or seven, nine. 70, six or 60 or 70 times. Before you In leave, before you leave the house, usually you check your pockets to see if you have your stuff you need well, to go I to town with. I always have my wallet with me. So Except for the six or seven times you didn't. So always check, because what... You know, how many times have I had to pay? Uh, one time you had to pay in the grocery uh, store. Maybe two times. I had to pay because you forgot your wallet. Because that was the time you bought those pretzels that cost $9. I'm worth it. You could. Yeah, I know. You could when it's your money, but it was my money that time. That was your Christmas present. At least we didn't have any trouble getting the fire started, did we? You didn't. I'm glad you did. I would be scared to light it with gas because of that girl that got burned. Well, the main thing when you light with gas is you want to make sure you light it immediately after you dump the oh, gas. Oh, the fumes don't travel then? No, because the longer oh. it sits there, the more it fumes, then it can explode. Oh, it's starting to burn now back on this backside. Mm -hmm. The couch is almost gone. Chad put that couch by the driveway and said free, but no one wanted it. I don't blame him. You know how windows fade your furniture. I went in this one lady's house, and they're rich. Her husband is a professional. I'm not going to say what. But anyway, they have big windows like we do, except they go to the ground. But anyway, she had, the first time I went to her house, her furniture was new and pretty. And then I went about six months, a year later or something, all faded. It looked like the sun had deteriorated so much. If you sat on it, it would rip like your patio furniture gets. And I felt so bad because I thought, does she notice? Because, you know, when you see things every day, every day, you don't notice the difference. Like people who saw me a year ago and then they saw me now, they would go, whoa, she's aged. But the people who see me every day yeah, don't. Kind of a little stain right here on your... Uh, you should talk. <laughs> this is my chore coat. Okay. I just wonder. You should talk. You're usually spotless clean, so it's strange to see a stain on your clothes. Well, I haven't worn this coat since last winter. Mm -hmm. So who knows? Well, that's not that bad. I don't really Here's care. the stain he's talking about right there. Jamie, you're funny. Okay, so now it's burning on the other side, but this side has wood, but it does have a lot of metal. Should start melting that fiberglass tub out of there now. Oh, and did you know pop cans do burn after a while? Up they, they oxidize. Because it's aluminum. But now if you were a clean person which you aren't <laughs> ever i mean a go green clean organic person do you burn trash like this because all those people are going to hate you for doing this well that doesn't i don't really care he does he did it not me this is the rural farmer rancher way of doing things if you had a dead horse, would you put it in that burn pile? Any dead animals? I have before. Does it smell like roast cooking? I don't know. I don't stay around and smell it. Oh, I wanted to know. I don't want to live it and do it. I just want to know so I don't have to. A big gob of horse like a dead, or flesh like yeah. a dead horse. Yeah. Takes an awful lot of hot and burning to get it to burn up. Oh, uh, cremation, temperatures. Too much moisture in it. And the, yeah. 
creaming shards around the outside edge and stuff, but then it's insulated. And this is a lot of flame, fire flame, isn't yeah, it? And it's nice that it's blowing straight over the road. And not people's it houses. Probably wouldn't catch the. Oh, the sagebrush. Yeah. If it was blown the other way, but. The sagebrush. There's another old piece of the old couch down there on the edge. That's yeah, just, it was sectional. It's starting to. Catch. But I wanted to go through all of this. Oh, no. You burned that lawnmowers in there with those new tires. And I told you, you should take those tires off. And you go, well, if I need them, I know where it is. I could come and get them. Well, too late now, now. Now I'm glad I don't have to come and take them off. Paid a lot for those. And then there was some good wood pieces that I was going to salvage out of here. And there's a tube of two right there sticking up. There's a bunch of tube of twos out of the walls of that trailer. That but I'm always scroungy usable. thinking, oh. Oh, I could always save that. I could thing. use it. Probably never would. Anyway, run and get that two by four, Jamie. We might need it. There's a good, good one I almost threw out on the other side the other day when I was unloading all that stuff. You know how you always need a scrap of wood for something. Yeah, I just decided it was not worth the effort to save it and store it and hope that someday you'll... That's Need the it. problem with these... With, well, all the stuff like all the old bolts and nuts and everything. We have boxes and bins full of them in the shed because they're too good to throw away and you never I'm always thinking, them. well, someday we could use that one. Okay, maybe. back up and let's get another little view of it back here more because it's going to start burning. It looks like that couch is burning over there now. Yeah, burn back up so we can get a different view because they're going to be bored with this view if they're still watching. Don't go over the cliff. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, this is a good view. Okay, stop. The mirror is going to be in the way. Okay, the back side of it. Turn it off now. We don't have much gas because somebody forgot their wallet. No, it's not my good view for me because I got the this this stuff all right. No, it's okay. Well, you could sit in the back seat. And their old fridge is there. I know. It's not even going to get into the fire. Hardly. It won't even burn anyway. Well, if you'd had a bulldozer, you could have pushed it all down in there and then burned it. Well, there's a, quite a bit of metal in there that's not going to burn. Yeah. Well, uh, but at least... Levi dumped a whole ton of... It'll collapse. When he bought all those dump trucks and everything, he had some big metal bumper things and everything. Oh, that's what of. that is, yeah. There's one of them sticking up right here yeah. on this end. Had these big old metal about two feet wide. Yeah. I tried to think, well, maybe they could be used for a oh, there snow you are, plow or scrounging, thinking. lay them on their side like a toboggan to go sled down the hill. And then if it hurt, fell off and ran over, you'd get cut or hurt you. So, but I decided they weren't the right shape and there's too much. If you wanted to spend days and months in there trying to. Okay, I'm going to turn this off now and let it burn a little bit. And when it gets down, I'll record a little more. There must have been some kind of a propane tank or something down in there that somebody threw away. Yeah, we just had a big explosion. That was exciting. Too bad I wasn't recording it then. It's starting to burn this side of the trash now, and it's deeper. It's a deeper burn now, dropping down in the hole. This thing right here, right there, that's the bumper of the truck. So that's metal. That's not going to burn. There's several of those down underneath in there, too. Oh, there is? It looks like there's a big fence post sticking up that's that's heavy enough piece oh, of wood. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, there was an explosion. There was another explosion. hope we're far enough away. I've zoomed in, so we are farther than it appears. Oh, 
hopefully all the neighbors are at work so they don't see it happening. Sometimes, didn't they come? Some of them came up here, even driving up here when we did it last time to see what was happening. Which is good that neighbors are watching. You want neighbor watch, neighborhood watch to a certain extent. There was a tire down in there we saw. Black well, smoke. That's what's burning right over against the over here, yeah. Edge. That's there was a tire, the tire down in there now is completely on fire. And that they that's, make black smoke. That's what that black smoke coming up is from. But we don't know everything that was dumped in here because other people are doing it. There's something puffing out black right, right here. A lot too. of black there. It must be another tire. Sorry environmentalists we had tires on the lawnmower over there but they've all burned off they were little this is what you get to do when you retire and then oh good that stuff on the driveway on the road over there is starting to burn too. only one end of it it'll all burn when you retire you just get to sit and watch fires burn Unless you don't have any tire. Well, we're doing it for protection, too. We don't even have a bucket of water here if we needed it. Aren't you supposed to have buckets of water around before you start the fire? I have the buckets. But they don't have water in them. We'd have to drive up to uh, the pond. That's why we waited till this snowstorm. Oh. Another big bomb. We don't know what it is down in there that's starting to explode, but... Hopefully it explodes in the hole and not out of the hole. The one that happened when you weren't filming. It, it kind of shot this way. It shot up about 20 feet high when it boomed out. I don't know what it was. Thought it might have been somebody throwing a propane tank or something in there that finally exploded down in the bottom. I don't know. That was about how big I would expect it. Oh, look at the fridge. The inside of the fridge is burning. The Well, what it is, it's the rubber seal right around the door yeah, is burning mm -hmm. now what other channel that does u-haul timu u-hauls also does the big burn <laughs> none so you should like my channel better than just only doing timu stuff huh i'm a timu hauler and many other subjects well that's why you're Versatile. You have lots of kinds of material to share. I do. I have so much going on. And it's all things that city folk, how many of you guys in New York or Sydney, Australia, you don't get to burn like this. You didn't You didn't say that it was just... Uh, team and stuff. Uh, no, I was, let's see what I was going to say. I didn't say it was just... What kind of material you're going to discuss. Share. yeah. Whether it could have been cooking or sewing or... Cleaning up the yard, The word material the doesn't necessarily mean material stuff. No. It's just the, ty the different types of subject matter. Well, really, when I started it, I just wanted a reality show of what life really is like. Not perfect, not everything staged. Some of those shows, they're so, they have a special room that's perfect in every way. You must have another big tire down underneath right now. Yeah, here. more black smoke. Starting to puff that black smoke. And it's all staged. Who has a life like that? None of us have lives that are so perfect and staged. Rewind, do that again. No, there's no rewind in my life. You live it, and then you either have to clean it up or do it again, but there's no rewinds so that it erases forever. Oh, uh, look how it's really falling down now. How long? We can't stay till, like, it stops smoking. No, we'll just stay till the, the flames are gone. flames are down into the hole, good. And not above the hole, Okay. Because, you know, we got to go to town. We got to eat lunch at some point. And that one piece that's laying out over on the ground over there. If yeah. I was young, I'd run over there. And no, you wouldn't. What well, about all that smoke and fire? You can't run through that. 
Well, I could go clear around right Oh, there. yeah, you would go down and around because you were, walking wouldn't be hard for you. You should have known Jamie when I married him when he was 45. Well, you saw the pictures of our... No, you that, showed the pictures that of wasn't our, our wedding. long time ago, but that wasn't no. actual pictures of you doing stuff. No, but that showed what my body was back then. And he could lift I wasn't logs. Bad. I wasn't bad looking back then, but I've got ugly since then. He could lift logs, and he was so strong because he could milk cows, and his forearms were muscular. Remember that? And he could... I kind of uh, astonished Balance your kids when we were packing lamb beams and stuff, and they, two of them struggling on one end, and I took the other end. And he could straddle a plank and climb up on roofs and never fall or be tipsy like he is now. I had better balance than almost anybody I worked with in the construction industry. And he was the best arm wrestler of everybody because he'd milk cows and his uh, forearms were strong. He still, though, could break my fingers if he squoze them. The world, or the U U.S. champion arm wrestler was a guy from here at one time. And that's what he had done is milk, milk cows. cows. And he had, uh, well, you have to milk them by hand. When you have the automatic or the milkers and stuff nowadays, that doesn't build muscles. But no, milking the cows by hand really built your arm muscles and your grip strength. And when I was in college, I there was big old football players and everything that were way bigger. They have all these big old bulging muscles and everything, and I could arm wrestle them and beat every one of them. I just had these puny looking little arms and no they weren't puny well they weren't that puny but the other guys would be half again bigger than me or stuff lifting weights thinking that and they could lift all these weights and all that stuff but one thing Jamie can't do but then when lasso I, you can't lasso no I never practiced doing that very he good. never lassoed well I did but I just wasn't any good at it but anyway, when these big guys would be arm wrestling me and everything, and they'd be pulling for their whole might and everything, and they couldn't budge me any. But if they did finally start prying me over, all I had to do is just start squeezing until their hands started uh, I, thought you, I thought you were going to say screaming. Well, they almost wanted to scream. I'd just start squeezing until the bones in their hands started to crackle and pop and then they'd all get Well, up. I hope when you were milking the cows you didn't squeeze them too hard so it hurt them. Could you? You didn't though, did you? Didn't try to hurt anything. Oh, good. Do you miss milking cows? No, not really. What if you got a cow, a milk cow now and you would still... I like having my own house milk and cream and butter and stuff. You could make out of it. No, we couldn't because we're not getting one. That would be horrible. Like you have to milk we were, them twice a like day. Like when you and I were first married, yeah. we had a milk cow that we... That was her chore every night and every morning. Every night and morning you have to milk it. But then if it has a calf, you got to feed the calf a bottle. What you do is you milk the cow and you leave one one of the nipples... Yeah. Unmilked, and then that's one that you let the calf have. Oh, the calf can nurse still? If you want to nurse them, you can. Well, that would have been easier. But it's still a pain to keep the calf away, away and put it in, take it out. Yeah. It's, it's all... You'd have to be set up right. We had the old milk barn and everything with the stalls and everything in it. It was... Well, it's set up good to have a place to do it. If we tried to milk a cow now, we'd have to go and build a little staunch and thing to hold them. And We're not doing and it. Then you also have to train them. They don't automatically walk in and go into the staunch and like to be milked. They've got it and gotten trained to do it. So you can't just take an untrained animal that finally calves and needs to be milked and think they're going to be like on TV. 
even once in a while with her old milk barn and stuff, we'd get a new calf cow in there or something and she wouldn't go up in the stalls until we'd have to get a rope around behind her and winch her in. Oh, are they strong? Yeah, but you can... Why can't you do it with food and grain? You can lap the rope back and forth until it becomes like a... I don't want to hear a stretcher that would... I don't want to hear if The you're... leverage will tighten them up and pull them in. Oh. Even though you may not be able to push them in. Once they've been in a few times and you give them a little bit of grain and they get something to eat there. Jamie says he doesn't think any more events are going to happen here so we can leave. It's safe now and... When we... Well, having the ground so wet all over us makes it safe anyway, but... It's just burning in the hole now, so... The fire's died down enough so it's not going to be... And Clint lives right over here. We'll tell him to check on it. All right, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the fire, put a like. And if you haven't subscribed, you should.